Hello everybody and welcome back to Hearts of Iron, where last episode things got really awkward when Japan capitulated to Germany, kind of. I mean, there's all this out here, but the Japan home islands capitulated to Germany. Now, we're not at war with Germany. I want to throw that out there. I'm... we'll see about going to war with Germany. But for now, we're working on getting these invasions off. Of course, we need to try to drive the Japanese away from various locations over here. The Americans are working on landing over here. I'm not sure how successful they'll be. It seems okay. And we've also got insufficient resources on steel. Now, it's been doing this every time I load up the game, where this number is different, then I adjust it, and then it goes back. Let's see what happens on the day tick here. Yeah, okay. So we don't need to do anything there. We gain some base war support. That's always nice. And we're going to launch this invasion over here. Now, keep in mind, our primary goal is not to, like, defeat Germany or anything like that. Our primary goal is to maintain peace in the Pacific. So that's what we're doing. We're focusing on that for the moment. And we're going to come in over here and land. MP3s just finished up so that now our garrisons can listen to music. I already made that joke. I, I, I need to stop that. But we're going to get MP4s next, so now, so now they can watch video. It'll be great. Okay, so we're going to get our invasion done over here very, very soon. And then we need to think about where we want to go next. I think here is an obvious choice. So off we go. We are currently departing for one of these. The other is not going just yet. We don't know if these are even defended at all. I kind of think that they're not. Yeah, they're just undefended. Cool. And these are going as well. Okay, so we have this division here that we can definitely move into one of these armies. Beautiful. And we've landed here. So we're going to send these guys up over here and these guys up over here. Just to get all that taken over. And we land over this way, and we take this island as well. Beautiful. So that's all under our control now. This is no longer necessary to have there. And this army has no orders. And we're going to leave it that way for the moment. Actually, we're going to move them back into this army. Because this is going to be an opposed landing up here for sure. We're going to want to move our navies up over here. And where did our other navy go? Oh, bo both of them moved. Okay, good to know. Cool. Sounds good. So we're going to finish grabbing this territory. And once this is ours, then we will head back up over this way. We want to launch from here. So we'll launch a naval invasion order like so. And we'll get that preparing immediately beautiful. Now, do we want to toss any responsibility for defending this area on any of our current armies? Yes, I think. We'll just toss that in about like so. Fan so once we get this taken over, we can land on some of these islands up this way. I would also love to come over here and potentially over here, but I think that the U.S., their invasion is going well, I think, actually. I think that the U.S. will take this over. So we'll leave that to them, and we're going to go after this instead. Beautiful. So we know that this will be opposed, so I want our full force here. And we'll get that ready to go. That'll launch in 20 days. We are short... Oh, we have way too much chromium. We're not short on resources other than rubber, but we have way too much chromium. We do not need to be trading for chromium right now. Did any of this over here give us chromium? Oh, yeah. 109 chromium here. That's huge. Okay, that'll do it. Beautiful. So we're going to launch this invasion over here shortly. That'll be done in like 13... Well, we're at 13 days, so it's almost half done. I do believe that the U.S. will successfully take this back. The question is, when will the U.S. really start focusing on Germany? 
They haven't done that just yet. And the thing is... The German Empire is very low on manpower. Very, very low. The U.S. is invading over here now, so they're focusing basically entirely on Japan. Fair enough. So are we for the time being. After Japan is dealt with, we might declare on Germany. Hypothetically, do we need to justify on them? We do. I'm not going to do that right now, but I just wanted to keep that in mind so that I knew that whether we needed to justify on them with this game state or not. We do. It's, that's okay. So we will continue garrisoning these areas and defending them a bit. Actually, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to combine these two armies together. And these guys will also be responsible. No, I don't want to fall back. They will also be responsible for defending New Zealand. Like so. Beautiful. So if they have too many troops over here, that's fine. So these guys are currently responsible for defending our home. These guys are responsible for defending everything that we've taken over here. That's the way that that's going right now. We're about to launch this. In fact, we already have. So we're going to invade here. Oh, and we do have an additional armored division here, which I feel like should move out over here. I think that our home, it hasn't been under any threat just yet. So that's fine. Okay. So we gained some base war support. Are they embarked? That's really weird. Regardless, it looks like we're going to win this. Perhaps. Okay. That's going kind of slowly. But we do appear to be winning it. Extreme environment training and atomic research both finished up. So let's go ahead and grab... I would like to continue working down the atomic area. And let's also work on our special forces a bit here. So we can grab elite forces. Beautiful. We also have a free military factory. And we can throw that into... Carrier naval bombers, I guess. That'll do. I'd love to see us actually win this at some point. It's, it's very awkward looking. Very awkward looking indeed. But looking at the organization, I think we are going to win it. Another military factory. In fact, two of them just freed up. So what are we going to do with those? Honestly, our supplies are really good. We kind of don't need them. We could toss them into more planes... Sure. That'll do. We are, of course, done mobilizing. So our manpower is going to drop as we continue to get all of these divisions filled out. Oh, this guy can get a new trait. And we should do so. Yeah, give him Amphibious. Done. We can also give him an Officer Corps role. Amphibious Assault Specialist. Done. Beautiful. Beautiful. So he's now better at that. And that means that we're going to take this over very quickly. Fantastic. So in this sea zone, we want to go up here next, for sure. So we'll plot a naval invasion from here up to here. And we'll get all of our troops assigned to that. Let's get rid of this. Why is that one going to take 29 days? Okay. 31 days now. Maybe he's slightly slower at planning it now that we gave him those traits. I don't know. We'll let that go, though. That'll be fine. We're uh, we're still a little bit short on our rubber. That's for sure. What do we have for supplies over here? Did that get us anything? No. No resources. Okay. That's fine. We didn't necessarily expect anything. As expected, the U.S. is succeeding here. Honestly, with Japan capitulating to Germany, I don't expect there to be any significant resistance out over this way. Japan will just slowly collapse over the next little while, and then the focus will turn to Germany. 
I think that's very clear at this point, especially with the German manpower being what it's at. They're already on scraping the barrel, and I'm actually... We're not at war with them, so I don't think that this is a problem or anything. I'm going to tag over to Germany. I just want to see what their monthly growth is. I'm just curious. With all of this territory, but it's all non-core, right? And a lot of it's probably not very, uh, not very compliant. So I just want to know. 61k monthly. That's, that's a lot monthly. Okay. Sounds good. We're going to hop back. I, I was just curious. Okay, so we're going to invade up over here next, and then we're definitely going to target this location. Now, the awkward part about that is we have to cross two sea zones, but that's okay. We should be able to do it. Oh, we are heading out. I didn't realize we were that close to getting that done. Cool. And the U.S. beat us there. Well, there's no point in naval invading it now. <laughs> we're going to head over here then, and we're going to launch a naval invasion from here to here. And you can see this crosses two sea zones, so we're going to need to get that underway, and we're going to need to move our navies. Instead of being up here, I want to have both of these selected. Instead of being up here, we're going to move them here and here. Okay. There are some mines over there, but that's fine. Okay, so off we go. That will be done planning when? Only 11 days? Wow. Okay. We have insufficient naval supremacy here, but that should, in theory, end up changing. So these guys are docked in Bismarck right now. I want them to be patrolling out over here. Actually, just here for the time being. And then I want our other task force to be naval invasion supporting. Actually, naval invasion supporting here. Our destroyers should be out over here patrolling. Kind of like that. Now, they're part of the same task force, so they both have those orders. We'll see what ends up happening there. Okay. Okay. So yeah, we don't have the naval supremacy in the Timor Sea right now. We might have to make some naval changes here to make that happen. No, we're good now. Advanced rubber processing has finished up. We're going to continue to grab that. Modern rubber processing. Beautiful. So that will help offset our rubber costs a little bit. We do need a little bit more steel from the US, so we'll grab some. And I want to check in on our construction. Okay, we're doing really, really good on that. Beautiful. So where are these guys right now? Uh, they're down over here. They're making their way over. I don't really want to activate this plan yet. Let's see. Yeah, I don't want to activate it yet. I want them to resupply a bit. And this isn't the full force that's arriving here yet. There's still more that's on the way. So they'll be here fairly soon. Amphibious Drive just finished up. Not that I think we need that. Overall, this seems reasonably okay. We're going to start grabbing technologies that are less high priority here soon. Like, for example, taking some of this stuff, perhaps. Or... Grabbing, like, anti-tank artillery. We can start working our way down that. Cool. There's also this unit that needs to be assigned, and we're going to continue to assign it out over here for the moment. Our amphibious assault force is doing a very good job. No doubt about that. We need to allow them to get their organization up. Okay. We have insufficient naval supremacy for the moment. That should change, though. Yeah, it, it should be fine as it is. In the Timor Sea. Do we just clip in there? 
Oh my. Okay. We're going to grab ourselves these guys. We're going to make, create a new fleet. And we're going to tell them to come patrol out here in the Timor Sea. And that is just to give us the naval supremacy for this invasion. That should, in theory, be fine. So once they arrive here, which they're almost here, we should be able to launch this. There we go. We're launching now. Beautiful. So we're going to see about grabbing this area. I don't know what they have for defenses here. We see that they have a number of troops. We'll see how successful this ends up being. Okay. Eighty-five, huh? Eighty-seven? Some of our troops are retreating, though. These guys had low organization to start with. So there is that. Four more days. I think we're good. Uh, we just had another unit fall back. We're very, very close here. MP4s are finished up, so we can watch videos. Perfect. And we are, at this point, I think going to just grab this motorized rocket artillery. That'll be okay. Okay, so we've successfully grabbed this territory. Beautiful. Now we need to divide this force in half. So, that's not the full amount. Is it? No, it is. Okay, I'm dumb. So, from here, we're going to have these guys, these four units here, they're going to be assigned here. These four units up this direction, they're going to get a new front line here, and they're going to be assigned there. So they get a offensive line up over this way, just eliminating this force, and we'll go ahead and attack that. The rest of these are just going to hold firm while these guys lose supplies to attrition. Cool. So these aren't going to last very long, right? We know that. They have no supply flow, and this is fine. We've completely bisected them, cut them in half, and they're they're just done so. There's nothing they can do. They're desperately trying to attack us here. Uh, these guys are apparently not assigned to this. Get over here. Unable to find valid path to target. You know what? Come on in like that. There we go. Beautiful. So I'm going to tell this tank unit to attack here, and we'll see what happens with that. Okay. I just wanted the single tank unit there. The rest of these guys are, of course, going to be assigned here. And these marines, I want them to attack. They don't appear to be interested in attacking. They may not be able to attack from this territory. Uh, do we need to... Do something diplomatically here? No, I don't think so. I think we just can't attack from that territory. Regardless, they're stack wiping. We're just going to head in and finish the job. There we go. So this is all under our control now. I'm going to make that be part of the defenses of this army. Cool. So this force now, where do we want them to go? Down over here, perhaps? I mean, the U.S. is already in this area. The U.S. is already here. We could come up over this way. Or up over here. I think here would be a little bit better for us strategically. So what we would do is we'd start a naval invasion from... Here's actually slightly closer. So here to here. Like that. We get that going. And we would need to... Well, this navy could actually be disbanded at this point. We no longer need it. Uh, we don't want to disband that. I just want to move them back to the reserve. There we go. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to... Remove these locations and put on these locations. 
with of course these guys being on naval invasion support if i if i'd done this correctly this would have stayed but these guys on patrol okay there we go fantastic so off we go Ooh, the U.S. has landed on the main islands here, and they have a good foothold there. That is very, very likely the end for the home islands under the German Empire. I like it. I'm going to go ahead and trade for a little bit of rubber here until such a time as we don't need to anymore. We're almost done preparing here. That's only 11 days now. That's absolutely great. I'm very, very happy about that. So we're getting some good island hopping going on here. There's some Japanese holdings up over this way that we might want to liberate. But for now, this is fine. I wouldn't mind breaking onto the mainland over here. I feel like that would be decent. Six to eight million manpower that Japan still has. I don't know why they capitulated to the Germans. I'm very confused by that, to be honest. Oh, we have basically... Okay, we just haven't launched it yet. Uh, can we not launch this just yet? Let's actually hold off on this. And let's re-prepare it. I want time for our organization to be built up. There we go. So we'll relaunch that in 11 days once our organization is built up. We, we just didn't have enough time to get them there and resupply them. So we don't know what's going to meet us here. And I didn't want to attack with like three supplies. So <laughs> we'll... Okay. So this will launch here in another six days. Cool. No problem there. This is absolutely fine. We've got Japan reasonably well under control. Or should I say the U.S. has Japan pretty well under control. My question is, what are they going to do about the British and the Germans? They're focusing almost entirely on the Japanese at this time. I don't know. We'll see. We'll play it by ear how we want to go about potentially liberating Poland. Poland is still pretty happy with us. They would still join our faction if they weren't part of the Central Powers. But uh, we're launching our invasion here, so off we go. Beautiful. Yeah, this isn't, this isn't going to be a thing. Cool. So let's see what we've got here. Oh, that was a fleet up over here. So the Japanese have rebuilt some of their fleets. That's not surprising. Five to 17 ships at this point. Okay. That's still not super threatening. We can still deal with them for the moment. So let's see how this landing goes. We don't know how many troops we're up against, but it looks like it's only one based on this. Yeah, one division. I don't know why it tells us that there's one division in the tooltip, but there's question mark divisions here. That's strange. But we're going to wipe this division out super easily. And from here, we can launch invasions out over this direction. We can also clear up this, but I don't know. I feel like the U.S. is kind of skipping some of that. We could definitely clean up some of those islands. It's an option. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cut in here, and next episode, we'll decide what our next move is. We have a couple of options. We can come out this way and fight on the mainland, or we can come out this way and clear up these islands. Those are our two primary options, and I think both of them are decent choices. We'll have to think about it, though. You can leave your offerings to the Engagement Gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Casserol, Sigma162, JJ Gamer, Kentuin, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Kadra, Raw Potato, Amici Nazi, Justin Everett, Emiliano Cambrin, Martin Lawrence, Jens Graham, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching.
If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.